So I'm doing this bungalow roof clean on these uh, tiles you can see here with the moss and the darkness to them with the algae on them. Uh, you'll see lots of uh, lichen and algae all over it and uh, the house owners are away on holiday so I can just do it at my leisure and just fit it in with my other work which is great. I'm going to be using uh, a Redland Groveberry um, tile scraper it fits it quite nicely from Spinnaclean. Um, now I have tested this for pressure washing with the Mossmatic and it actually takes off some of the layers so I'm not going to pressure wash this. Um, when I've finished I'm going to soft wash it and I'll tell you what I've used later on and the sort of mix ratio and uh, we'll just see how it goes. Okay. Okay, so we're still continuing with this rooftop. I've done the rear side. This is now the side and then there's the front to get done. Uh, not lots of moss, but a lot of darkening on it. And um, so from a scraping perspective, it's going to be relatively easy. Uh, as I said earlier, I tried a Mossmatic and it actually took off some of the grain. So I don't want to use that with this. I'm just going to use Smart Seal's Extreme Roof Cleaner on, on the actual uh, tiles. I did it on the back and it came up really well, but I'll show you that when I've finished. Anyway, I'll get started now and we'll see what it looks like later. Okay, so this part of the roof has been cleaned, uh, scraped down. And as I said, because the um, tiles don't take too well to uh, using the Mossmatic, I'm going to use Smart Seal's Extreme Clean. Um, and we'll just see the immediate difference. And then over the next couple of months, I'll come back and we'll start to see how the lichen gets removed. Because this first clean will bring out the colour clear off some of the uh, darker algae but then the rest of the really really ingrained algae and lichen that will just take uh, a bit more weather conditioning weathering over the next few months and then that will all clear off so we'll just see how it goes all right here we go okay so we're 10 minutes into applying a uh, smart seal extreme roof cleaner and you'll be able to see this side's really reddening up nicely the natural color of the tiles is coming through this bit here, which I haven't done yet, is still quite dark. With the uh, Smart Seal Extreme, you put it on, leave it for 60 minutes, and then wash it down. If it's particularly bad, uh, you can actually just leave it on to do its work. In this case, I'm going to do that because around the other side of the house, when I put it on, um, the as you can see, some of this darker algae uh, just remained a lot longer. So I want to uh, let the Smart Seal do its job on those, just to really bring it up for the customer. Right, so we'll just finish this bit, then I can move around to the next part of the house. <laughs> Okay, so we finished all three sides now. Um, so that's scraping it, brushing it down, and using Smart Seal Extreme to uh, clean it up, put on uh, some chemicals that will ensure the spores are dead and bring back the natural color of the tiles. It looks really, really nice. So I'm just gonna give you some um, shots of it all, all around, you've got a sense of it. And at the end of the video, there'll be a little summary of the tools I've used in the mixture.